Hey guys, okay, I'm outside the garage. Today we're gonna to do a test on a portable HEPA air filter systems. I have a Dyson, I got a Coway, we have an Air Doctor, and I even have a $25 box fan that I bought at the hardware store along with a HEPA air filter. We're gonna test them all to see how they stack up against each other in this ad hoc, absolutely unscientific chamber test that I set up with this tent outside here. Okay, we started by just measuring the room quality on the PM2 and the PM10s at 6.9 and 9.9, as you can see here. So I'm using the Superior Smoke Pellets, which generate approximately 250 cubic feet of smoke in 30 seconds. They're quick burning pellets to actually test HVAC systems. They claim to be non-toxic, but actually looking at the ingredients, they're incredibly toxic. So I was happy to get out of there as soon as possible. Okay, you can see our air quality meter is reading unhealthy. I'm accelerating the timeline so you can see how long it took this filter system to clear the air to register a healthy reading on the air quality meter. Keep in mind we're using smoke pellets to measure how quickly these units can filter out the contaminants in the smoke. So it may be faster with allergens and other airborne contaminants. You'll notice on each of the indoor tests, I stopped the clock as soon as the air quality meter read good. So some of the PM25s and the PM10 numbers are slightly different, but it's when it gave the green light that the air quality was good is when we stopped the clock. Okay, lastly, I'm gonna try and do it with this $20 box fan that I purchased at the hardware store. Um, this is a really simple solution if you can't afford an expensive HEPA uh, filter system in your home or a portable HEPA filter, it's a very good solution. So first thing you wanna do is actually turn it on and figure out where the intake and the exhaust is. And so this is the intake side, this is the exhaust side. So I wanna have the uh, I'm gonna have the uh, filter, the HEPA filter going in this way and it shows you which way the airflow goes here. And I also didn't bother to get white duct tape but that's probably a good idea. I'm gonna use a painter's tape just to attach it here. And let's see if we can't hack our way into clean air. Okay, we're back. We've tested these portable air filters in our makeshift chamber test, and we used an air quality meter to see how fast these units were able to filter out the smoke and the particulates in the air to make them register as healthy. For most of us, we're looking to clear the air of dust, pollen, smoke inside our homes. So besides having allergy relief, why should we care? Well, our indoor air quality can actually cause a great deal of harm to our health. 
And since the energy crisis in the 70s, we've made our homes much more energy efficient. And as a result, it's much more airtight, which is great for energy saving, but it's not great for ventilation and air quality. In fact, the White House just warned of potentially harmful indoor air quality in the United States. Recently, Yale University did a study identifying large amounts of PFAS in the dust in our own homes. PFAS, as you may know, is the forever chemical associated with Teflon and nonstick pans. And there was a big controversy in the 70s and 80s. Great movie called Dark Waters you might want to check out that actually explored that. But PFAS are also in a lot of other products in our homes and including stain resistant carpeting, personal care products. It's even found in clothing like yoga pants. These forever chemicals have been shown to be carcinogenic to humans, especially to young children. So one, check your carpets. Two, check your mattresses and make sure that they are chemical free. And if you want to see and learn more about our mattresses and our top pick, I'll post a video link below. Let's talk about some of the other things you might want to consider before you purchase one of these units. As we discussed earlier, most manufacturers use a metric called CADR, which means clean air delivery rate. And, and it's slightly different depending on the different particulates, i.e. smoke is faster than pollen versus dust. But we average these out for you. And these units, the Air Doctor 3000 gets an average score of 340 on the CADR metric. It's actually recommended for rooms in sizes of uh, 638 square feet. And the Coway gets a CADR rating of 240 average. It's also recommended for room sizes of 361 square feet. The Dyson, on the other hand, our friend over here, gets a measly 70 on the CADR. That's awful. And it's recommended for room sizes of 172 square feet. In comparison, this box fan that we built for $20, actually $40, gets a, an a estimated CADR of 100. So it's actually outperforming this Dyson. What else can we look at? Well, let's look at the cost and the cost to maintain for a year. Well, this Dyson retails for $579 with the replacement filters are $45 for a two pack. So actually those are affordable for filters. The Coway is $200. We found this price on Amazon and the filters are $70 each. We do recommend you change the HEPA filters twice a year and the carbon filters once a year. But for two of these HEPA filters, it's $140 a year. And this Air Doctor 3000 retails for $399. And the same thing, you want to change their HEPA filters twice a year and their carbon filter once a year. So each of these units, each of the filters sell for $60 each and the carbon filter, so it comes out to $140 a year is what your average cost is going to be. As mentioned, this handy dandy box filter cost $20 at Home Depot and we spent $20 on the filter. So you can spend $20, uh, $40 a year actually to maintain that unit. So what is the best way to go? For me, the Air Doctor is the clear winner. In our test, it won the chamber test. It also looks to me the cleanest. And while the filter systems can be a little bit more expensive, I think it's worth it when you're trading that off for the higher efficiency rating you're going to get for this unit. I actually think aesthetically it's pretty pleasing. This is the 3000. They also make the Air Doctor 5000, which I also own, which is for much bigger rooms. But you actually could buy two of these and put them in a very, very large room. They also just introduced the Air Doctor 2000, which is another unit they have for smaller rooms. I'll show you how this comes off right here on the Air Doctor. The front load comes off. This is, their, this is their carbon trap filter, carbon gas trap filter system. They actually has pretty hefty weight to it. It's a pretty substantial filter. And then behind it is their HEPA filter, which actually comes like this as well. It's more of a thicker size filter, similar to the Koe. So if you're interested in these, we'll have the links below. And as always, we're demanding the best pricing from our preferred manufacturers. So I would check back on the swell score for the member pricing on all of these items, including Air Doctor. And we hope you enjoy clean air in your home in great health. And if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button so we can continue to review and test more health related products and bring them to you at the best prices. Happy and healthy.